Hello there. Today I'm going to talk about Maxim DL version 6 and this video is actually going to talk about basically the initial setup of it. I'm not going to talk about how to take images or focus or use the guiding. Uh, that's going to be another video. So let's open up Maxim DL6 and this pretty much is how it usually uh, starts. Um, I usually turn close that. You will see quite a few toolbar options and these are grouped into categories. Um, I think there's a little bit too many here. I'm not really a big fan of toolbars myself. Uh, I like to keep them basic and just use absolutely what I, I need. So if you want to adjust any of these, uh, dragging and dropping you can move them around that way but I actually just go into the view toolbars and select customize. And then I can actually go ahead and uncheck what I don't want. And you'll see that I pretty much take everything but the standard one. So now that this is all set up, we're ready to, um, we have more of a uh, screen to capture images and things like that. Okay, so let's set up a camera. This is the camera icon for the camera control and you'll notice an expose guide and setup tab. The setup is actually where you set up the camera information. You'll notice that camera 2 is disabled because we don't have camera 1 set up. Once we do, we'll this will become enabled. So I'm going to select the camera here and you'll have the camera model list here. These are all the ones that basically come with Maxim Deal when you install it. Now if you have a camera that uh, is not listed here, like I have a QSI, uh, the camera manufacturer actually has plugins that you have to download and install. And just to let you know, I have um, uh, been told and from experience that anytime you do an update to Maxim DL to like the next level up or ne next update, it's really a good idea to reinstall your camera dr plugin drivers. Um, today we're going to just use the simulator, and usually there's advanced options. And then we're going to go ahead and set up a filter wheel. Uh, again, we're going to use just the simulator. And you'll notice that it defaults to red, green, blue, luminous. Um, this is pretty much a standard default in Maxim. But you also see filter 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on. Uh, we want to get rid of these. And not because you're going to use them and you it's just showing up in the list. But there's a lot of automation programs like ACP or autopilot or CCD commander that will get the filter list from Maxim DL. Well, we don't have a filter 5 because it, it's empty. So we only have these um, these filters here. Now if you do if you do have a filter that's not listed here, all you have to do is just type it and you're good to go. Uh, if you don't if you want to get rid of these then you just simply delete them. And I'm going to delete these because basically in my camera that's what it is. And if you if you mistyped it, you can just click in here again and put alpha. Okay. So this is my filter list. So if now we we have a main camera pretty much set up. And we have no camera on the second camera. If you're using a S big internal guide chip mode, then, then you want to check this box. Uh, this will only apply to S big cameras. So if you don't have that, then of course you're not going to check this. Um, more and more people are not using the internal guide chip anymore. They're using off axis guiders or guide scopes. And they use the second camera, which we're going to now set up. simulator. Okay, so these are basically our camera setups. Um, the options here gives you a little bit more advanced options and I don't really use them. However, I do use it in one spot. Uh, let me go ahead and click in here. Again, you can set up the tricolor, for example, if you want it to be green, blue. This is for when Maxim takes a tricolor image, uh, which is an option in the exposing part. But what I wanted to point out is this download image on stop. 
Uh, this was more of a problem in Maxim 5, and I don't know if 6 has fixed this issue. What happens is, and the automated program like ACP or CCD Commander will abort an image, and then Maxim supposedly will abort the image as well, and it does. Um, what happens sometimes is when the automated software actually takes another image, Maxim doesn't actually start the image. It just sits there and waits. And that puts the automation program in a hung mode because it thinks it started an image that will never finish. So to avoid this problem, uh, by checking this box, download the image on stop, it tells Maxim, regardless of the exposure that you took and it's aborted, go ahead and download it. And that kind of is a workaround to uh, tell Maxim that it has completed its sequence and it doesn't seem to hang anymore. Now th again, this was a problem I saw in version 5. Maybe 6 has fixed this. I don't know. But it doesn't hurt to have it there. Okay, so this is the basic uh, camera setup. And we're just going to move this over here. The next thing we want to set up is the actual telescope. And this is the observatory control panel. And as you can see, there's a focuser, dome, rotator, such and such. I use focus max, so I don't use the focuser options. The only one I actually do use um, occasionally is uh, the telescope. So let's go ahead and uh, click this little arrow. We need to choose it. So um, there's a couple of options here. We can actually, um, you, you find the telescope that you, fits you best. I have an astrophysics mount, so um, there would be an astrophysics ASCOM option here. That, that's not here because I haven't installed that yet. Um, most people use the sky control telescope and um, uh, simulator. Uh, I'm going to use the simulator in this example, but most people use the sky control telescope. So we may change that in the next video. So whatever you choose, you need to click the properties button and it brings you properties about your telescope here. Okay, so once this is done, we can now connect. And if you go to the telescope, you can see it's not tracking. He's in the positions. Um, you can park, you can unpark, you can move the telescope around. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff in here. And again, I invite you to actually go ahead and um, uh, look at the help file about all this. Okay, so when you're, when you're done with it, you can just disconnect it. Uh, the last two things I'm going to talk about in this particular video is um, under the settings and configurations. Configurations is used to save, um, and I have something from before here. This is usually what it looks like. Once you set up your camera and your filter wheel and everything about it, if you have multiple setups for different cameras, whatever the case may be, um, then you are pretty much good to go. So what you can do here is you can save this camera one and click save. Okay, this actually allows you to reload this back if you have multiple camera setups. So let me close that. The last thing I'm going to cover is under settings. And under settings, I can select, um, I go into the well, first thing I change is I'll change the default size of the image. So for example, if you have a large camera and you don't want to fill the whole beyond the field of view of your screen you can change this so I usually set it to 35 percent under optics I'll go ahead and put what the telescope is 20 mine is a 10 inch RC so I'll put 250 millimeters and 20 percent obstruction uh, I use an off-axis guider so I'm going to say the same and lastly you can put the lat line longitude and latitude here. Um, I'm in the west. So, and 
These alarms I uh, tend to turn off. Again, this is your preference. I don't really need to hear a bell when uh, the exposure is done. So you can just double click on it and choose none. Um, the FITS header, you can put information about your telescope. Like uh, I use a GS, GSO 10 inch RC. And I can set that. I can set my CCD camera. QSI, and then I can put the observer, which is me, click set. So these are all set now, ready to go. Um, for the most part, that's pretty much it. Uh, the next video I talk about will be uh, going over the exposure, focusing, taking an image, and actually setting up the guider. So have a great day.